Hello everyone, this is Sharif Walters of 40 Non Productions. What does Lena Durham, Issa Rae, Sylvester Stallone, Vin Diesel, Constance Wu, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, they all, what do they all have in common? What do they all have in common? They all created their own opportunities. They all um, decided to take their careers into their own hands and didn't wait for Hollywood to find them. They created, they wrote, they produced their own content and they became household names. So these are the reasons why I think actors should create their own material. Hello everyone, what does Constance Wu, Lena Durham, Issa Rae, uh, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Sylvester Stallone, um, Vin Diesel, what do they all have in common? They all created their own opportunities. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm forgetting a, a couple others, but those are the ones just off the tip of the tongue. Uh, they all created their own opportunities. They didn't wait for Hollywood to find them. They decided to write something, produce it, showcase their talent, and now they're all household names. This is the reason why I think actors should really look into creating your own opportunities and creating your own content. Dual responsibilities. When I uh, created my last short film, it was three of us. We shot it at my house in under five hours, and it was me, the other actor, and the director slash cinematographer. We, I was holding the boom mic. Travis was moving to locations. He was moving lights around, but we worked as a unit, and we got to learn other jobs aside from acting. So um, if you work on your own stuff, you'll learn other skill sets, which you're gonna need in Hollywood. higher stakes no one's gonna care more about your project than you and when your money when your time is on the line you're you're going to ensure that your project is going to succeed come hell or high water uh, once you once i started investing into my own projects i had to make sure i, I dotted my i's and crossed my t's i had to make sure everything was perfect or damn near perfect in order for me to do the one thing I want to do and that was to be in front of the camera so when when your money and when your uh and when your time is on the line you're you're going to do everything you can to ensure that that project is a success a limited budget a lot of the times when you're using your own money you don't have the access to a lot of the big budget projects. The most I've ever spent on a short film was roughly about $12,000, which I, in hindsight, I could have made about four or five uh, short films with that. But when it's when it's your money on the line, uh, you, are, you, you have to get clever because you're not gonna have access to the $100,000 locations or you know, the the hundred thousand dollars and beyond equipment, um, the the large crew. So you have to make do with what you have. And uh, some of the best projects I've seen was one or two locations and you just have to get clever. You 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 have to get creative. And that's the uh, beauty about having um, a close knit team and who, who who are a creative because you learn how to collaborate and come up with something great just from one location. There's many uh, project feature films that are just one location, but the story is so compelling. So um, just being limited with with um, access to uh, crews and locations will give you an opportunity to really, really stretch your um, creative juices and come up with something great. Hello. 
having creative control. If I were to sell a script, it's no longer my script. The production company can do whatever they want to do with it. But if it's you and it and you invest into your own projects, you can do whatever you want to do with it. I've been very, very fortunate. Uh, my last couple of uh, short films for them to get into a lot of film festivals, which led to um, other opportunities. But um, the the beauty is the you have the creative control, but uh it all depends on what you do with it because it your your project will fail or succeed depending on your actions so creative control is one of the great things about um creating creating your own opportunities audience and expectations yes it's your project yes you've invested a whole lot of time energy into your project but at the end of the day if you're an actor you have to show up and perform so you're going to do all the work of getting the money for your project uh getting the cast getting the crew getting the locations um feeding everyone if producing it or finding a producer you, you you've done all the work just to do the thing and the thing is the acting thing so you can't forget the thing and you have to put at twice as much work into the thing as you do in getting in, in into creating the thing so um when you're the lead of your own uh, project you gotta work three times as hard you have to show the audience the reason why you are the lead because let's just face it a lot of times just because you're the lead in your own project doesn't make you good for your own project trust me i've had several uh people in the past um wanting to replace me in my own damn project so you have to be twice as good in your project maybe even three times as good in your own project after you get everything in order because at the end of the day you're doing all this so you can act so you can showcase your talent so let's not let's not uh slack on the work that you got to put in as an actor once everything is in place overall there's nothing like seeing your project come to life there's nothing like taking something an idea put it in on paper getting people together and and that idea turns into a project which turns into a film there's there's nothing like completing you know a final project whether it gets into a main festival or just doesn't get into anything the fact is you're doing something that a lot of people talk about doing but never do so invest in yourself have confidence in your art uh step up to the plate and don't wait for hollywood to find you give them a reason to take a look by creating your own material putting yourself out there and there is a uh, a beauty in creating your own material uh from an idea to script to gathering a crew to finding locations to uh post-production to the poster to um a finished product that that you can be proud of and if it gets into festivals awesome if it gives you opportunities awesome if, you, if it gives you opportunities to network even better but the fact is you did something that a lot of people talk about doing but you actually did it and not only that um it you you never know where it may lead you never know who might see it Issa Rae spent $200 on a YouTube web series and somebody famous saw it i think pharrell saw it and you know look at where she is now because she had the courage to create something from an idea and put it out there and didn't care if it was high quality the stories were great and she created a fan base and at the end of the day we are all looking for fan bases and what better way to find your fan base but um by creating your own opportunity so those are my reasons why I think actors should create their own material. 
I'll see you later.